All right, guys, welcome back to another video. As you can tell, today I'm not in my kayak. I am in the orange kayak because today we got Adrian out here. We got my little brother, Adrian. Uh, he's taking off to Del Rio tomorrow. He's gonna be over there for about a month doing his CDL classes. So before he takes off, I figured we'd take him on a quick kayak mission. And uh, yeah. I mean, I'm not I'm not used to this kayak. I'm used to mine, so I'm feeling a little bit more wobbly because I am feeling a little bit more. My kayak is a little bit more wider than this. But oh well, we'll be alright. We're gonna go look for a spot to start fishing, and then we'll get back to y'all in a minute. All right, guys. Well, we're we're headed back. We're moving our way. We're moving our way down or up river. But uh. We stop. I mean, it's barely three o'clock in the afternoon. You know what I mean. So we're just stopping and fishing our way. Stopping and fishing as we go. Looks like I was getting some nipples. I finally got some more of that brim-colored cinco, guys. So my bad, brim-colored dinger by Yum. Huh? Donuts. 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 My brother's over there trying to get the hang of being in a kayak before you. Oh, there you go. Boom. Backlash. Taking off with it. Feels like a good one. Oh yeah, there you go, there you go, baby. There you go, baby. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Come on. Where are you going, little guy? Where are you going, little guy? There you go. Oh, I gave him too long. He swallowed it, guys. I can, t I can see it already. Yep. Yep. Gave him way too long, guys. He swallowed it. He even swallowed the whole dinger, guys. Look at that. He swallowed everything. Let me float up against the bank real quick. All right, guys. Like I said, he swallowed it, man. Yeah. This thing is gone. So, do what we always do. Cut our line. See if we can get this guy free. Come on, guy. Let it go, man. There you go, guys. There you go. Got it free. Got it out of his throat. No bleeding. No nothing. Hopefully, he's able to swim off. Oh, yeah, there you go. He swam away like... Oh, man. I missed it, guys. It looked like he had that black line on top of him. This spot might be a little hard to recognize, guys, but this is where I caught my first big fish. My first big bass ever. I caught it at that spot straight ahead of me on my very first video. The very first video, I decided to come out to Bowington. Right after I got the GoPro, I came out to Bowington and decided to... It was just supposed to be a test video, guys. That video wasn't even supposed to be uploaded. But I got that big bass, so I had to, you know? And it was my it was it was my first big bass ever, dude. Before that, my biggest bass ever was like a 2.3 or something like that. Can't tell that's a uh, I think that was just a bluegill. Yeah, it was just a bluegill. Either a bluegill, oh, either a bluegill or a really small, really small bass. But let's get back out there, see. Who knows? See if we can hook into it. Into whatever it was. See, I don't know if y'all can see that. I have to have something. Ah, oh, whatever. I mean, I can't even talk, guys. Whatever it was, it was holding on to it, but I wasn't able to hook into it. Let's get back out there again. 
Who knows? It could be a catfish. I've caught a catfish off a dinger before and it felt just like that. So, who knows? Who knows what it is? See all that stuff that's bu that looks like it's bubbling right here on top of the water? A little bit in front of me. But that's just a big old bait ball, guys. See that? Did y'all see that? <laughs> That's what it is. This whole time I thought it was the wind. It's actually a little bait ball. Let's see if I can show y'all that again real quick. See how they jump up. That's pretty cool. That's pretty funny. And I can see which way they're moving because the water is just, it looks like vibrations on top of the water. See that? I don't know if y'all seen the movie Lake Placid when that when that's how they find out where the alligator is. That's what it, That's what all that stuff looks like where that bait ball is. But there's another bait ball over there, and I have seen some blow-ups around it. So let's see if it's a bass or if something will bite. I don't know if y'all can tell. There's another one out there. There's this one right here. Oh, look, something bit it. There you go. <laughs> I'm telling you, I know there. I knew. I knew there had to be something around all that bait. Come here, guy. Come here, guy. Come here, guy. He hit it as soon as it hit the water too. And I know it's not. I know it's not a, a guardian bass because they haven't even spawned yet. It's way, way too early. It's way before spawn season for the bass. Check him out. Good little girthy guy. He's eating all this bait around here. see if we can do that again guys <laughs> and that's why i like this brim colored cinco guys because this brim colored dinger because it's it's like a greenish color on it's like a it's like a watermelon on top right but on the bottom is it looks like a bluish color but in the water it actually looks silver so it kind of looks like the flash of a set of a shad or something you know what i mean yeah oh yeah oh, i think he came off the, yep. Come on. Let's change up that. Let's change up that dinger real quick, guys. I'll get back to you in a minute. Got a lot of those in the Nueces River over here. I don't know if you just saw it go back under the water. It'll pop up somewhere over there. If y'all know what those are called, I it has to be a duck. I just don't know what kind of duck it is. So if y'all know what those are called, y'all go ahead and comment down below because I I need to know. I see them all the time. One and two, are they edible? <laughs> y'all let me know. Oh, it came off. No, you still have it. You still have it. <laughs> hell yeah. Look, Adrian got it. Oh, that's a nice one too, brother. Oh, hell yeah. Guys, my brother got his first dinger bass. I'm going, I'm going. Hold on, I'm going. I'll help you right now. And we're over here. We're over here. I don't know. I don't want to cut. We're over here bullshitting, guys, because we're talking about going to my brother's right now when we get out of here. Pick up the rod. Pick up the rod on this end. And uh, we're just talking. He didn't even know he had one. And then, like, just out of nowhere, he felt the pull. So he pulled back and boom. Oh, look, he even unhooked it himself. There you go, my guy. Uh, yeah. You want a picture? Just go ahead and just drop it. He'll swim in. He'll swim down. Boom, straight mm -hmm. down. <laughs> there you go, Brody. There you go. I told you I have one. There you go. <laughs> I told you. He told me earlier. He's like, bro, I just missed one. You know how to put the hook back in the worm? Yeah. Okay. He told me earlier, he's like, bro, I just missed one. I'm over here. Nah, no, you didn't. No, you didn't. You don't know what you're doing. You don't know what you're doing. And boom. That's a good sized bass, too, brother. Yeah, it was. Good job, Brody. Quick Sunday afternoon kayak trip paid off. I guess so. Huh? I got two fish. My brother got one. We've been out here about an hour and a half, max. Yeah, yeah. Let me go steal his spot. I'm, over here. I'm casting right here towards these laid down trees and branches and all that. And he's just casting out straight in front of him. But he keeps getting bit. So I'm going to have to go park my butt right next to him and cast out. <laughs> Poach some of his fish. Adam. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> he got me a little JD special. <laughs> <laughs> Got me a little JD special, guys. It's not a good day with. Hey, it's not a good day fishing without a JD special, bro. Yeah, Hell yeah. Look at him. Alright, guys. That's gonna be it for today's video. We fished all the way back to the boat ramp and we beat up every piece of laid down tree and everything that we can see. But we weren't getting any more bites, man. And it's already 5 30. So the sun fixing to go down too, and maybe like another. 20 minutes so uh that's gonna be it for today's video guys i appreciate you guys watching don't forget to like and subscribe if y'all already ain't and uh it's just gonna be out of the videos maybe for about a month like i said he's going to take in his cdl classes in del rio so maybe we'll go up to del rio on the weekends and do a video out there with him but in the meantime guys thanks for watching peace